Bad weather had closed the skyways, forcing me to fight the street-level gridlock. It took me over two hours to get there. By the time I arrived at the Web Runner's loft, I was too late. The Ripper had struck again, Jordan was dead, and Magnata had her body removed. You know who I feel the most sorry for? The guy who has to draw the chalk outline around the dead bodies. The cops just took the body. God, it was a terrible, man. I was all decked in, and I was doing the OK Corral, and I was shooting the hell out of the Clintons, and I killed all of this. Oh, look out, she's about to Wyatt Earp. Stuff hit me, and... Dude, I'm not even thinking about it, because I figure it's Doc Holliday blowing Frank McCloud reopen. Wow, this chick has the messiest period I've ever seen. And shooting Morgan, so I know something's wrong. And trust me, I've seen a lot of periods. So I... I mean a lot. I pause the program and take my goggles off. And she was just there, dude. She was just all cut up with her eyes open and looking at me. And fuck, I didn't do this shit, man. I didn't even see anybody leaving. This is a bug hunt, man. A bug hunt. No, 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 no. no. You take it easy, Calgo. You take it easy. Nobody suspects you of anything. It's okay. The only thing we think you murdered tonight was the art of acting. Incoming select transmission. Too late, Quillen. I never thought I'd see you miss a story. Why'd you remove the body from the scene, Magnata? You know, I'm getting tired of answering to you. Hurts my feelings. I'm in charge of this investigation. The public has the right to know what happened in there. Not if I don't think so. Maybe I'll leak some information I just found. Interesting stuff. It seems like you were the last person Jordan contacted before she died. Powell, not Jordan. More than a third of this device's bottom panel is devoted solely to reminding you this is a transnet call. Man, it was so gross what he did to her. So gross. Now, she must have just read Breaking Dawn. So you were a web runner? Fifteen years ago, when I was a kid. So that's all it was, kid stuff. Actually, it was exciting. I learned more about cyberspace there than I did in school. Okay, learning to use Gary's mod doesn't count. It was all about games. And I grew up. Now I have the free time to power walk on this treadmill for days. So you and Eddie were friends with Magnata. Friends is pushing it. Look, I would appreciate an honest response. I know that you were all members of this Web Runners thing. What are all three of you hiding? What makes you think we're hiding anything? <laughs> Three people involved in a murder case all just happened to hang out together 15 years ago? Just like when Tupac was shot. Stranger things have happened. Right. Yeah, it's crazy, I know, I'm sorry. It's probably just a coincidence. I mean, my college friends explode all the time. Did you hear? The Ripper is killed again. That's a line I've heard often enough. Smooth talker. Stephanie Jordan. Maybe you know her. Stephanie Jordan? I haven't seen her for 15 years. Funny, that's what I said about Karen Allen when I saw her name in the credits. Same as the others? Yeah. Oh, Stephanie. Gosh, I'm sorry, I can see you're really torn up over this. Well, she is too. <laughs> I know about Magnata breaking up your wedding. Hard to believe, isn't it? Charming guy like him. Uh, cut. Hard to believe he has a heart. But I think it still beats for you. When I married Joey, I learned how crazy Vince Magnata is. He became obsessed with me and Joey. Wait, he was in love with both of you? Session nearly ruined our lives. Now it might kill us all. Jeez, this Marion is a total ice princess. How can she not go for Christopher Walken? The dude was the Continental, for Christ's sakes. What should I do about Catherine, Eddie? I went through this with you already. What are you, fucking stupid? Don't answer that. Dump in anything you get from the Ripper. I can't do this for you. I'm too busy rewiring my power glove. I didn't know that you, Magnata, and Burton were all in the web runners together. Those were the days. Christ, did we have fun. I was the guru. Magnata was the brooding bohemian. Burton was the straight-laced schoolgirl surfing the edge. Too bad it all went down the shitter. Hmm, should I let on that I know about his marriage to Burton, or should I let on that I know about his marriage to Burton? So you and Burton were married. Because I gotta ask, man, how is Marion in the sack? What can I say? Chicks love the power glove, man. It was the perfect day. Magnata fucked it up. How do you mean? My wedding day. Magnata was cheating on me. I knew he had the hots for Claire, so I didn't invite him. The bastard turns up anyway. You know the part where the judge says, Anybody got anything to say? Speak now or forever hold your peace. 
Magnata was holding his piece. Whoa! And he had a lot to say. <laughs> you mean he interrupted the ceremony? What, are you kidding? He started waving his piece around, hit some people in the face with it. And after we threw him out of there, he turns up the party afterwards, like nothing happened. Walks up to Claire. Shows her his piece. Asks her to dance. She looks at him. She looks at me. Mentally comparing our pieces. Get the fuck out of here! And he goes nuts. Oh, his nuts were out too? My wedding day. <laughs> Took four guys to pull him off me. Five guys to pull me off him. Yeah, I'm sure there was just no holding your scrawny ass back. After that, nothing was ever right. I don't know, it sounds like a great case for the Jerry Springer show. Don't boo me. You don't know me. You don't know me. You know, the Ripper struck again. No shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that reminds me. I probably should have wiped my feet before I came in. Who do you whack? A woman. Stephanie Jordan. Big mess, like the others? Doesn't that name ring a bell? Did she write the Twilight Saga? Never heard of her. More importantly... Well, she was a member of the Web Runners back when you were hanging with him. Uh-oh, his brain just rebooted. Ah, yes, I remember, yeah. Skinny chick. Kind of quiet. Not into my idea of fun. Sorry you so broke up about it. Hey man, if I ain't raiding her Lost Ark or going to her Temple of Poon, she ain't worth knowing. <laughs> oh my god, what's Walken doing? He's reading a book, but what I love about this is he's all hunched over the book, peering right into it, mouthing out the words very slowly, one at a time. There's almost too many jokes that I can make out of this. He's so intent on the book, he's blocked everything out. He didn't even notice me. <laughs> See, Dick. See, Dick, run. Run, Dick, run. And it was at that moment they knew that they were no longer little girls. No, they were little women. No, wait, I got it, I got it. Would you eat them in a box? Would you eat them with a fox? I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Any luck identifying the murder weapon yet? I will guess that it's a knife. <laughs> Farley says that hasn't been established. Says you don't know what the murder weapon is. That fat fuck has a lot of crazy <laughs> theories. It's not rocket science. These people were butchered. You can't slice bacon with a baseball bat. Actually, don't you slice bacon with one of those meat carver machines you see at the deli? You notice anything fishy about Burton? Like what? Like the fact that she's dragging her feet on treating Catherine. Now you're a cyber surgeon, huh? Why aren't you investigating her? What makes you so sure I'm not? Now what was I? Call me Ishmael. Did you know that Falconetti and Burton were married? Yeah, so? So why didn't you tell me? It's not relevant to the case. Well, the fuck it's not. One of those could be the Ripper. Look, I'm not an idiot. I read your partner's notes. As far as you penheads are concerned, I'm a suspect. About three things I was absolutely positive. First, Edward was a vampire. Second, there was a part of him, and I didn't know how potent that part might be. I thirsted for my blood. And third, I was unconditionally and irrevocably in love with him. Why didn't you tell me about the Web Runners? What are you talking about? Your past. Your involvement with the Web Runners. The fact that you're an ace decker. The fact that you've known Burton and Falconetti for years. I mean, you're all connected. I'm supposed to think there's nothing to this? If you're making an accusation, swear on a complaint. Why? So you can lift some more evidence? You're walking on thin ice, Quinn. If it cracks, ain't nobody gonna hear you scream when you go on the... Wait, wait, wait. Are you trying to warn me that the ice, it's gonna break? Dead zone, yeah? Why didn't you tell me about your affair with Burton? What makes you think I have to tell you anything? Let's just say, what I give you are pennies from heaven. Oh, so you were playing God when you tried to break up Burton's marriage to Falconetti. The plot thickens, Magnata. You just crossed the line. Ask your buddy Falconetti what it's like to be my enemy. A pissed off cop can screw your life up in so many ways. Quinlan, the guy is directly threatening you and confessing to a frame job he did in the past. Why are you not tape recording this? When are you going to put this ripper case to bed, Magnata? person can wonder. Well, wander away, asshole. <laughs> the wheels of justice may grind slowly, but they're moving. They're moving. Get yourself caught in those wheels, Quinlan. You'll be in a lot of pain. Although, I admit, the wheels of justice are going to move a lot slower until I finish reading this odd Thomas novel. It's fantastic. Hey, check it out. My mom sent me a gift card from Borders. Another goddamn security card. If that lazy schmuck Brandon would do his job, 
Quinlan, I thought I threw you out. Now get the fuck out of here. Yeah, Quillen, get out of here. I gotta finish reading my book. It's called Watership Down. It's about these rabbits, and they're fighting each other, and there's this really crazy one called Fiverr. I love that guy. Where is Stephanie Jordan's body? I, d I don't know that name. Ah, I'm just an intern, sir. She was the Ripper's latest victim. They must have brought her body here. Well, that's true, but I, I don't know anything about a Stephanie Jordan. I I'm sure there's information pertaining to her on that computer, but it hasn't worked since I arrived. See, Farley prob probably tampered with it before he left. Nah, he just installed Windows Vista. I've removed the access panel. Some of the circuits were burned out. I called for a technician, but it's impossible to get anything done in this place. If you can help me get the computer running, I'll see if I can help you. But that, that's as far as my involvement goes. I can't, I can't afford to lose this job. Well, Steve, I know just what to do. Let's call the Best Buy Geek Squad. Yay! It's easy to get really frustrated and actually kind of frightened of this puzzle. And it's designed to be that way, but really it's about as old school as these old school adventure type puzzles get. And the main reason this one is so scary is because the board here is so complex. The object here is to put all the chips in the proper spot, and that computer manual you scanned early on gives you these really cryptic clues on how they're placed. And the reason they're so bad is because there's really three criteria. One is the serial number, two is the number of pins on the chip, and three is... there are three circuits of four chips, I believe. And for one, the serial numbers are really complex, confusing, and very similar looking. And two, the circuits are all spread out all over the board, and you gotta follow those little connecting orange lines between them to, to connect the circuits. And the key here, really, is to not look at the screen. You have to abstract this down, and basically copy the entire puzzle from beginning to end on a piece of paper. The first thing you gotta do is get rid of those serial numbers, because they will confuse you, and your eyes will really glaze over looking at them. So, really what you do is you take each of the numbers and you just call it A or B or C and then you look through the instructions and you copy the clues all over again translating the serial numbers into the same A, B, C and from then on it's actually very very easy because when you're not looking at those numbers the numbers aren't confusing you that's one major thing that you don't have to think about and from there on it's a very simple logic puzzle and it really won't take you that long as soon as you get it all copied down it's just having the having the patience to write it all down on paper which is actually something that you don't see in adventure games nowadays you know requiring that level of commitment i think there it goes oh, nice job it's working let's see oh man farley installed google desktop this will take forever that's strange it says here that Jordan's body is in the animal storage room. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. They just store monkeys down there for use in experiments. Why would she be there? She was secretly a monkey! Where, where is this storage area? Well, you just go through the door in the back of the morgue. But... What? Oh, shit! <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Quillen. The demons in my head are telling me to kill again. Please leave before you get me fired. Through the back door, you say, right? Please, Mr. Quillen, just, just, just leave me alone. As far as I'm concerned, I, 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 I never saw you. Suddenly, I miss Steve Gutenberg. Oh, please let the Ripper actually be a secret pack of rage-infected monkeys. Please, oh, please, oh, please. That would be such a great game. This dude sends a pack of assassin monkeys to do his killing for him. Yeah. Damn. Voice lock. How am I supposed to get by this thing? Now isn't that interesting? The monkey lab has better security than the human morgue. Could it be because they have rage monkeys inside? I must know. I must find these rage monkeys so much- DON'T! Okay, well, forget the gym. That didn't work. I uh, think I probably outsmarted myself a little bit. I tried to go right to Dr. Burton to get her voice on tape, but apparently you have to go see someone else to get the idea to record her voice. Hey, do you sell magic cards? Hey, Quinlan, I hope everything's all right with Catherine. Hey, check it out, he's working on Sam Fisher's goggles. What do you know about the web runners? Oh, that, that's way before my time. All I know is it got something to do with kids on the cutting edge having fun. The guy you really need to talk to is Gambit Nelson. An old gamer, a sea space entrepreneur. He's been around for years and years. 
been known to throw down a few at the Cafe Duchamp. Duchamp. That's it, I'm calling it. Jimmy Walker's the Ripper. This son of a bitch can walk. You know anything about voice locks? <laughs> you mean you don't? Man, where you been? They're basically all the same, but if you're trying to bust into one, all you gotta do is get a sound sample of the owner's voice saying, It's me! Open up! Yeah, my brain! Mmm, got those reporter's instincts working, huh, Quinlan? Hot on the trail! <laughs> Jimmy, uh, you, you do know the cameras are actually rolling. People are going to see this. Alright, now I can get the recording from the- oh! Dr. Burton, you're gonna have to open up about Don't some- Don't, Dr. Burton, me. I'm not going to open up to you. This is ridiculous, and I don't have the time. Come on, just one quote for attribution. Would you like a cigarette? Whatever I give to you is off the record. I can't believe this woman is still exercising. What, is she training for the Olympics? Welcome to the library, a calm place to learn and read! Ah! Can I sign out this audio video editor? Are you a member of the library? My name's Jake Quinlan. I'm sure you have me on the record somewhere. Yes. Here you are. Okay. I'll transfer the editor's files into your decking unit's memory. You can sign them out for one month, and then they'll erase themselves from memory unless you renew. Thanks. I'll remember that. Or you could just, you know, download Audacity from SourceForge. Hey, hey lady, wait, I didn't mean it. Ah! This librarian's mean, man! Well, at least I got the software, so now I can open the- Don't! Oh! Okay, the hardest part of this puzzle is actually figuring out where to find the audio editing software. But beyond that, if you ever played Gabriel Knight, The Beast Within, you figured this one out pretty much right away. It's the same puzzle, and actually I'm not sure which one came first. This is Dr. Burton. Open up. <coughs> Intruder. Intruder. No. Seriously, that so would not work in real life. <laughs> I didn't have to be a Pulitzer Prize winner to recognize that I had stumbled onto something big. Apparently, this is an out-of-service subway tunnel. But it looks as though Dr. Burton has found a use for it. Okay, once you've started stealing corpses for your secret underground science lab, you've officially gone off the deep end. And trust me, I know mad scientists. Secret underground monkey cloning farms. The dark secret of the McRib. Incoming whack transmission. Incoming whack transmission. Source unknown. Dear boss, see what happens when you get too close. Someone dies. What? She knew me. Sorry, I'm not There's hearing you. To now the John Cage soundtrack is totally drowning you out. I'm holding a crumb in my fingers right now, and it has nothing to say. It's dangerous to know me. You've looked into my eyes, and I've seen your fear. It was truly Ripper. Ripper, Ripper. Oh, and by the way, never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down, you just got Ripper old. Ha <laughs> ha. Ew, I found Dr. Burton's dildo. Ew, I don't want to touch it. Alright. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Apparently, Dr. Burton was conducting some manner of cyber-cognitive experiments on monkeys. The question was, why was she hiding this in an old subway tunnel? If I'm really lucky, this poor monkey can tell me the answer. See? See? I told you she was making rage monkeys! Why does no one listen to me? Okay, so you gotta mess with this thing and put the sliders in the right order. Apparently, you can see the solution in that video you just saw, but I couldn't see anything. So, really, I just ended up guessing the right solution to this thing after, like, four tries. Ah, it's getting turned on! Let's keep shocking the monkey, baby! Hunger! Fear! Ah! Oh! Burning! Holy shit, it's a talking rage monkey! Someone's gotta kill it fast before it leads the other monkeys in some giant monkey rebellion to overthrow humanity! Dude, this game got weird! Kind of awesome, but weird. And really awesome, but but weird. And kill others like me. Oh my God! King. Me. Cyber. Space. Brain. What the fuck? I'm totally freaking out here. Someone shut up the Satan monkey. The devil is in you, monkey. The power of Christ compels you. It's not funny. Some monkey started talking to me in some satanic voice about my brains or something. I'd be running out of that fucking lab like my ass was on fire. 
fucking monkey. This is how it starts, you know. This is how the ape rebellion starts. A planet where apes evolve from men! Well, you can stumble around this game pretty much forever now without knowing what to do, but what you need to do is keep checking your journal because uh, what you don't know is that it keeps decrypting in the background, but it only really finishes certain entries when you've passed certain portions of the game. Uh, the fifth entry of the journal tells you about a hidden website and tells you the secret password is Leather Apron, so... So you have to go back to the newsroom to access the- DON'T! So you go to the creepy, melty Looney Tunes site, you type in Leather Apron, and guess what? Well, you gotta wait for it, but this picture appears. Because, you know, who wouldn't lock their website with another fucking slide puzzle? Who would do this to their own site? Even you would have to solve your own fucking slide puzzle every time you wanted to access the place. God. Nah, sorry. Can't freak me out after the devil, monkey. You topped yourself. Please enjoy these random notes. Oh no, I played this game. Watch, I bet there's a guy in there who's like, Bring me the blue pages. <laughs> well, 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 what have we here? Looks like a Jack the Ripper hit list. Sorry, I still gotta roll with the chick who has the hyper-intelligent devil monkeys. Yeah, speaking of, I think I'd like to ask her a few questions about that. What's with this secret lab? It's legitimate. The hell it is! Just because it's hidden doesn't mean it's illegal. I'm doing some very important work in there, and I'm not talking to you or anybody else about it. Hiding Stephanie Jordan's body in a subway tunnel. That's legitimate. No comment. Oh, fuck that we shit! I'm taking you down, monkey system. woman! This is our planet! No comment. Secret labs, mutilated animals, remains of ripper victims. That's enough. Talking monkeys. You know, I never cited a monkey as a source. It's a madhouse! I'd like to help. But scientists just don't release research information like this. I am not jockeying you out of grant money here, Doctor. I am trying to find a murderer. Maybe I am too. You sick bitch. What did the monkeys promise you to make you sell out your own kind? I wish you'd ask all of your questions at once, Quinlan. I'm trying to get a workout in. Oh, fine, that's it. You know what? I'm going to the cops. No! Oh! Did you know about Burton's secret lab? Secret lab? You've been reading too much of your own stuff, Secret Lab. She's got it hidden in some old subway tunnel. She's doing lethal experiments on animals. Now, I don't know what it all adds up to, but it can't be legal. I don't have time to weep about sheep. Call the Animal Lovers Hotline. She has Stephanie Jordan's body there. The rage monkeys! Tell them about the intelligent rage monkeys! All right, Quinlan. For once, you got my interest. This murder case was pretty boring up to now. I'll look into it. Satisfied? One fish, two fish, red fish. Oh my god, what? What do I gotta do? Write fuck off and braille on your forehead? Get out of here. I told you I'd look into your secret monkey lab just as soon as I'm finished reading the Da Vinci Code. So now it's time to go into Catherine's brain and tell the persona there everything I've learned so far. Again, so this should be redundant. Falcon, Eddie, and Claire Burton were married 15 years ago. Your notebook tipped me off. Remember your stupid and pointlessly encrypted notebook? Think, Catherine. Burton, Magnata, and Eddie. They were all web runners 15 years ago. They were all huge, huge nerds. You used to know this, Catherine. Oh yeah, yeah, I've been here many times before. Chick on the floor, screaming, swatting at imaginary bugs on her skin. Yeah, a few times. Magnata went nuts at Eddie and Burton's wedding. Made a big scene, threw some punches at the groom, they had to drag him out. He was holding his peace. Do you remember? Burton has this secret lab in some abandoned subway tunnel. I got this lead from some of your notes. Is this restoring any of your memory? Oh, hey, but I found your childhood tricycle. It's encased in a pillar of snot behind me. Hmm, is it okay to have sex with your girlfriend if she's in a coma? The Cobblestone. It's a marshmallow world. Coke. Deck and angels. It's closer. It was tall, very tall, and... Covered in yellow feathers. Uh. Oh, I see him! 
No, I knew her. No, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. How would you make up your mind, woman? I can't see it. I can't see it. Hey, you know what? It doesn't matter. You're conscious now and- Oh my god, she's dead! Damn, she just hit the deck. Incoming direct transmission. Source unknown. Dear boss, I'm having one of those awful days. My mood is foul. I don't know what I'm to do. I have chills and they're multiplying. I have a hobby to keep me busy. Yours truly, Ripper. Don't worry, I won't hurt you. This hospital has a very strict all pink lab coat dress code. Between your efforts and ours, Ms. Powell's essence structures have been restored by almost a third. This is astounding progress. Have you looked at the Ripper image? Even Dr. Burton can't complain about these results. Well, I wouldn't be too sure about that. She's insane. I think she's a secret monkey agent. She's gone totally bananas. When the, I gotta talk to you. It's important. I'm onto something big. Let's talk. Oh, with the air? It's gotta be a public place. Uh, Cafe Duchamp. Duchamp? Yeah, yeah, just go there. I won't be there long. The kitchen closes in a half hour. Hurry! And I'm already reaching for the other stack of discs. Yep. Hey, look, it's what Horatio Sands is doing now. Not much. Jesus, Farley, what the fuck is this all about? Fire me for, for eating in the morgue. They said I wasn't maintaining a sterile environment. <coughs> I mean, it's total bullshit. I mean, what do they care if there's a few crumbs or ashes around? <laughs> they fired you because of that? Yeah, well, it was the timing that made me suspicious. <coughs> Just when I figure out what's going on with the Ripper murders, they pull this bullshit. Oh, hang on. <coughs> How the Ripper's doing the murders? I sent a memo to Burton, but I never heard nothing. So I went to talk to her. She wasn't there. So I go back to the morgue, and these security guys, they're cleaning out my stuff. They gave me a piece of paper that says I'm, I've been fired for not maintaining a sterile environment. And get this, that bastard, he dumped my sandwich right in the trash. Or at least I think he dumped my sandwich. Vic, 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 the Ripper. What did you find out about him? But my sandwich! <laughs> After I eliminated the possibilities, Ugh. there was no way a hand could do this. No blade matched up. So I looked for a connection between the victims. They were all decked in, Jake. So now I'm thinking uh, cyberspace. I'm looking at their cerebral tissue, and I find small fragments of inorganic nerve impulse code. We're officially too close to this guy. When they were in cyberspace, somebody found a way to link to their brains and force what amounts to a self-destruct code into their essence matrices so that they exploded. You, you lost me, Farley, please. Um, <laughs> let's say you're an astronaut. On Earth, your internal body pressure pushing out is equal to the external pressure pushing in. Now step out of a rocket into space where there's no external pressure and you'll literally blow apart from the inside. What the Ripper Sea Space Code does is increase your internal pressure. Put simply, Taco Bell. So how come just the torsos exploded? Because the guy is a fucking artist. Oh, oh my god, these fajitas. I mean, oh, he can blow somebody's guts across a room or he can have them spill right out in front of him. The sliced torso is his signature just like the original Jack the Ripper. But he's one up this namesake. He doesn't even have to be there. Fuck, it's like the perfect crime, killing from cyberspace, right? And the farm going in there again, not without some protection. You know anybody who's got some illicit sea space code? I'm telling you, this guy is a genius. If he knows I'm onto something, I'm in trouble. <coughs> oh, Christ, my ulcer. Uh, I'm not built for the stress. Uh, Vic, you gotta stop beating this shit. I mean, do you really think you were fired because of this? Vic. Vic! Oh my god! Vic! Fuck! The Artie Lang story.